terms, starvation as a path to Jesus. Kenyan pastor arrested after four followers die. In a shocking discovery, Kenyan authorities found 15 emaciated followers from the Good News International Church on their pastor's property. Tragically, four of these individuals lost their lives after being rescued and taken to the hospital. The group had been starving themselves, led to believe by their pastor, Paul McKenzie, that this extreme act would allow them to meet Jesus Christ. McKenzie, a controversial figure with a history of legal troubles, surrendered to the police. He had previously been charged with the deaths of two children and accused by the local community of promoting cultism. As investigations continue, McKenzie remains in custody for 14 more days, leaving everyone to ponder the devastating consequences of blind faith. So this is wild. There is this guy who is a pastor in Kenya, and he runs some sort of compound or something. He has a property. And what happened was that the the police received a tip. The police received a tip off that there were followers of his being abused on his property. And the investigators go to the property after they received this word from the informants and they found all these people on the property that were like amazing starving like on death's door and as they they evacuated these people off of the property they arrested the pastor and they brought them to hospital and out of the 15 people that they pulled off of there um four of the people who were taken to hospital, then they didn't survive. And um, this is crazy because only a month prior, this pastor had been charged in the deaths of two children who were members of his church. And he had pleaded not guilty and was released on bond while the proceedings for that case continued. So they like let him out of jail. And... um, yeah, he he's apparently a very controversial and kind of like toxic figure in the local community because he had a church that got shut down in 2019, according to NTV Kenya. And then um, he's previously described like education as evil in interviews. So obviously this is like a very abusive um, figure in this community. You, you know what... Um... Something I'm gonna call something I don't remember S S I D R. I know I'm gonna call her Sid. Sid is saying, um, but why? How? Why? Uh, what I know is that they eat and drink Jesus. Yeah, just give them Jesus. Why are they? Where does where did this guy get them from? What? Where in Christianity does it say that um, you can meet Jesus if you starve yourself to death? Like, how did they? Where did they get this? From? Oh my god what sir i just looked up an update on this news within the past 24 hours they discovered 21 bodies on his property oh my god holy crap so this guy this is a lot worse than this news just got updated 21 bodies from starvation all of them yeah, the BBC is reporting eight hours ago that 21 bodies were found in um, connection to the story. Let me give a quick update. Kenyan police have exhumed 21 bodies near the coastal town of Malindi as they investigate a preacher who said to have told followers to starve to death. Dead children are, were among those exhumed, and police say they expect to find even more bodies. Oh, my God. So there were 15 rescued last week. Four of those 15 died. And then they were investigating. They found more. Oh, my God. State broadcaster KBC described him as a cult leader and reported that 58 graves have been found so far. What? One of the graves is believed to contain the bodies of five members of the same family, three children and their parents. What the hell?
we when we were wow so apparently this i don't know how this guy got to be so powerful in this community but the the other people in the community have been accusing him of like radicalizing everyone into starving themselves um and what i find very interesting was when i've been looking at a lot of reporting on this in multiple news sites they all give a line that's very similar. Kenya is a religious country and there have been previous cases of people being lured into dangerous, unregulated churches or cults. Like in a lot of reporting I was reading, they kept emphasizing that apparently there are a lot of cults in Kenya. I don't even understand how this, these ideas get developed. Like, I don't understand it. Like, what, how does it, and why do, like Sosan was saying, why do they even listen? Like, how do you get, I, okay, I get it why this, this person was crazy, but how, how do you get people to be like, okay, don't eat and starve yourself to death and meet Jesus? And people are like, okay. Here's the Which, thing, Armin. It sounds uh, crazy. It sounds crazy to us, right? But I promise you that every single one of us sitting here watching this right now, could be made to do that. I promise you. Every single one of us could be made to do it under the right circumstances, under, this is a process of thought reform. This is a process of thought reform and psychological totalitarian control. And under the right circumstances and under the right factors in our environment, every single one of us could be made to do this me as i am right now or if i was before in certain conditions before like you could take me right now with all my views and my all my beliefs and you could make me believe actually that starving myself will make me meet jesus you can do that okay through a process sure? of psychological destruction and torture yes easily it's easily. hard for me to imagine that it's hard it's because it's, i actually i have my book over there it's about um chinese brainwashing the term brainwashing comes from what the chinese would do to people in the communist revolution right it actually brainwashing comes from chinese that term and so i have a book that studies people who were some of the first people that go through this systematic brainwashing that they would do to people then and it's it, it's mm. it, it's it's system of stripping away a person's identity from themselves. And the higher degree of control that the brainwasher has over your environment, the more that they can control your environment physically, they can change everything about you under the right conditions. And yeah, this is this reminds me of Reek from Game of Thrones. People are like Cosmic Hidden is like, remember Reek from Game of Thrones? It's exactly, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I didn't want to say What is it, that? I don't know. Exactly. It's somebody who like, before you give somebody a new identity and a new belief system, you first have to take away the identity they have from them. And yes. you could see that entire process in Game of one of the seasons of Game of Thrones happening mm. to somebody. But before giving the person a new identity, you have to strip it away. The you have to break them and have. then you give them a yeah. new identity. So because these yeah. people have, um, they were on his property, that tells me a lot right there. That means that he had control over their physical environment, which is one of the most important factors in thought reform. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jackie, the live chat is saying, why do you attack Christians? What is that? Susie, what? Why do I don't know. I just want to. I just want you to enjoy how stupid people are for just a second. Oh, I'm sorry for attacking people that caused the death of what potentially almost a hundred Christians. People. Christians, hundred oh, Christians. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was just. <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to hold a particular Christian accountable, but apparently now that's all Christians. Okay. 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 No. Yeah. Whoa. whoa. Yeah. Amazing. You, you know this person killed a whole bunch of christians right oh you got the book oh yeah good point he this that guy actually resulted in the deaths uh, he, he caused the deaths of christian children but we're attacking yeah, christians we're, okay we're actually maybe talk to the guy we're actually, starving maybe talk to the guy starving christians we're actually maybe defending christians <laughs> yeah we're actually defending christians against this evil guy this guy is the, the victims of this guy are christians are christians yes wait um 
Newman is asking, Susie, can you tell me the name of that book? Okay, this is by Dr. Robert J. Lifton. It's called Thought Reform and the Psychology of Totalism, a study of brainwashing in China. This is a more, this is, this is like the seminal text on brainwashing. This is like the mm. foundation of kind of the study of this, right? But um, because he, Dr. Lifton interviewed survivors of Chinese brainwashing firsthand. Um, this is a little bit heavy. It's it's pretty dense with psychological um uh, uh lingo. So if you want to learn more about how people are brainwashed or how um indoctrinated, I would suggest um so this book, giving... which this is a book that literally changed my life. This book actually ultimately led me to Atheist Republic in a roundabout way. This is more for the common person. It's called Combating Cult Mind Control by Stephen Hassan. Um, and this is way easier to digest and under, understand. And it taught me critical thinking in a totally new way and changed my entire life. So I was, um, I would highly suggest reading Combating Cult Mind Control. This is an amazing book. Very interesting too. And it's written by a cult survivor. So Susie, I'm a nerd about this stuff. Advice. You're giving this thing, you're giving bad advice. Why? Because this. <laughs> Cosmic Heathen, I'm disappointed. Yeah. Okay, don't do this guy. You have to use the, use these powers for good. Yeah. Stephen Hassan, that's a very Muslim name. No, he's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.